Hello, everybody. David Schuster here. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI, is not rolling over for Donald Trump. The FBI and its director, Christopher Wray, are standing firm in Wray's intention to stay on, even though Donald Trump wants to replace Wray with MAGA firebrand Cash Patel. And so the only way Patel can take over as FBI director is if Donald Trump breaks the law. More on that in a moment. But first, as the CBS News headline says, Trump's decision to tap Cash Patel for FBI director sends shockwaves through Washington. Several Republican senators believe Patel will not have the votes to get confirmed. Here's the reporting from NBC's Jonathan Lemire. Cash Patel, perceived by many to be deeply dangerous because he has indeed, as you note, no qualifications for this job. Many of Trump's former aides said as much uh, four years ago. But Patel, I'm told, and I'm talking to people in the orbit the last couple of days, there is no ideology. There's no agenda here other than retribution. Patel's one defining characteristic is that he is simply loyal to Donald Trump. And even inner circle Trump members uh, of the last few years have been startled by Patel's willingness to simply do whatever let Trump me, let, wants. Let me, let me stop. Do whatever Trump wants. Well. That seems to be the only thing motivating Donald Trump, and that is have his loyalists clean out the Department of Defense, the CIA, the Department of Justice, and the FBI, and turn each of these nonpartisan agencies into political shock troops for Donald Trump. And through the years, Cash Patel, an attorney, has embraced and promoted Trump's biggest lies. Patel has been outspoken in claiming the deep state is against Trump and that Democrats, perhaps with deep state help, stole the 2020 presidential election. There is no evidence to any of Patel's wild claims, but he has promised to use the government to enact revenge against Donald Trump's perceived enemies. But do you believe that you can deliver the goods on this in a pretty short in a pretty short order of the first couple of months so we can get rolling on prosecutions? Yes, we got the bench for it, Bannon, and you know those guys. I'm not going to go out there and say their names right now so the radical left-wing media can terrorize them. But, excuse me, the one thing we learned in the Trump administration the first go-around is we got to put in all America patriots top to bottom. And we got them for law enforcement. We got them for intel collection. We got them for offensive operations. We got them for DOD, CIA, everywhere. We will go out and find the conspirators, not just in government, but in the media. Yes, we're going to come after the people in the media who lied about American citizens, who helped Joe Biden rig presidential elections, we're going to come after you. Whether it's criminally or civilly, we'll figure that out. But yeah, we're putting you all on notice. So Cash Patel is putting the media and countless nonpartisan government workers on notice that they will be targeted and that Patel will use the government, including Trump loyalists and law enforcement in the courts, to carry out the prosecutions and put Trump opponents in jail. Patel has repeatedly pledged to shut down the FBI headquarters in downtown Washington, turn it into a museum, and send all of the FBI workers to the field offices as cops. If he's actually, if he's actually serious about that, I guess it means he doesn't understand that the 7,000 people who work at headquarters, 6,000 of them are not even agents. They are scientists and computer specialists and analysts and secretaries and professional support staff. Uh, who aren't clearly wouldn't be sent out around the country to work as cops as he's threatened. Four years ago, members of the Trump administration saw Patel as a disruption who would harm federal law enforcement and make America less safe. At the end of the first Trump administration, when Patel was working as an aide to the Secretary of Defense, Donald Trump proposed putting Patel in a leadership position at the FBI. And Trump's attorney general said, absolutely not. Here's the reporting from MSNBC. When Trump entertained naming Patel deputy director of the FBI, Attorney General Bill Barr, again, another Trump loyalist, confronted the White House chief of staff and said, quote, over my dead body. He is controversial inside Trump's own orbit. I mean, you go inside Trump's own orbit and it is split down the middle with half the people thinking he's going to be a disaster for any Donald Trump administration. And they never wanted this nomination to see the light of day. So why would Donald Trump pick Cash Patel as FBI director this time around? Well, clearly, Donald Trump is determined to mess with the Justice Department and FBI and turn the agencies away from loyalty to the Constitution in favor of loyalty to Trump. 
Furthermore, right-wing MAGA loyalists have been infuriated over some of Donald Trump's cabinet picks. The Trump nominees for Secretary of State, Treasury, and Department of Labor have been viewed by MAGA world as too liberal or too much part of the political establishment. The Treasury Secretary nominee, for example, has connections to George Soros. So by nominating Patel to be FBI director, Donald Trump seems to be endorsing the effort to wipe out government workers who were involved in investigating him, and the move would please right-wing MAGA firebrands, including Steve Bannon. So this is Trump throwing them red meat because he knows he needs to keep them happy. But there are others in Trump world deeply worried about this pick who feel like mm -hmm. Patel is not only unqualified, but indeed dangerous. That Patel will never think twice, never hesitate in carrying out whatever Trump wants, even if it means potentially, people say, breaking the law. Well, it now appears that Donald Trump is going to have to break the law to get Cash Patel in charge of the FBI. The current FBI director, Christopher Wray, a Republican, was nominated by Trump and confirmed by the Senate in 2017. The FBI director's term is 10 years. If Christopher Wray resigns before the end of that 10-year span, Donald Trump could fill the vacancy. But over the weekend, the FBI issued a statement saying that Wray is not going anywhere. And Wray himself has reportedly told colleagues he will not leave until his term is up. Ray could be fired by Donald Trump once Trump takes office in January, but only for cause, as in Ray gets caught up in an ethics scandal or does something personally or professionally that embarrasses the FBI. But legal experts say there is no cause that Donald Trump could cite in firing Ray. So that leaves Donald Trump firing Ray simply because Trump wants him gone. And that could lead to the kind of controversy that Donald Trump faced in his first term when he fired FBI Director James Comey. Trump wanted Comey to investigate Donald Trump's enemies, thwart the Russia investigation, and be loyal to Trump. Comey was hesitant, so Donald Trump fired him. And the political fallout hurt the Trump administration and infuriated Democrats and Republicans. The fallout from the Comey firing damaged Donald Trump's first term. It stopped some legislative ambitions dead in their tracks. So fast forward to now. Firing Christopher Wray so that Trump can replace him with Cash Patel would create the kind of firestorm that might eat up the political capital Trump's election win has generated with congressional Republicans. And for all of Donald Trump's government transformation efforts, Trump is still going to need Republicans in Congress to carry out much of his agenda. That means the FBI standing firm and Christopher A. not backing down is a big deal. Also, there are more than a few Senate Republicans who would not want Cash Patel as FBI director even if Christopher Ray stepped aside. So look for this battle over Cash Patel to be titanic. Patel is arguably a danger to public safety. He seems to have unquestioned loyalty only to Donald Trump, not to the Constitution, and now, it's the agency Patel wants to run, the FBI, that is digging in against him. Every new FBI director takes it in a different direction, um, makes it something it wasn't before. That's a good and healthy process. But we've heard nothing about that from Cash Patel, except these insane rants about the footprint is too big. I don't even know what that means sending people out to work as police officers and turning the headquarters into a museum. By the way, several billionaires now appear to have buyer's remorse over their support for Donald Trump. He has promised, if you add it all up, more than $10 trillion in tax cuts relative to the current trajectory. He has called into question by politicizing the credibility of the Fed. He said that the dollar needs to go down, not up raising the price of every imported good. And much more importantly, on the supply side, he's called for pushing up all kinds of prices by putting an across the board tariff on, which will raise the price, not just of imported goods, but of American goods that use imported goods as an input. You know, the first item on his agenda looks to be extending his 2017 tax cuts uh, and maybe even cutting corporate taxes deeper than he did the first time around, which would uh, be very exciting to his Wall Street contingent, to his, to his uh, billionaire contingent, uh, but it could certainly uh, help exacerbate 
inflation, as could uh, a steep round of tariffs. So on the one hand, you know, you could satisfy one half of the coalition, but if, you, if, if the cost of that uh, was for prices, inflation, and interest rates to rise again, then a lot of the same working class voters who supported him two weeks ago uh, could potentially turn on him and Republicans in the midterm elections. Check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Grailter who wrote, a career criminal con man who promises chaos. What could go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. I look forward to reading your comments about Donald Trump getting blocked by the FBI as the FBI director stands firm. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.